Hey guys, Brett the Tank Downey here. I'm going to give you my two cents on Season 9, Episode 8, the mid-season premiere of The Walking Dead. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 8. I actually got to see this episode uh, a little early. It was on the premiere, uh, which I do not have, but it was uh, easily acquired over the internet, let's just say. So uh, I got to check it out a little bit early. And I uh, really, really dug the episode. Uh, thought it was really cool. I'm really enjoying this whole uh, Whisper arc that's uh, coming in. Uh, it was, you know, it basically took uh, up where the uh, last, the mid-season finale had left off. Uh, and they were trying to get poor uh, Jesus' body back uh, to the hilltop. Uh, still sad to see him go. I really like the character. Uh, thought on the way back that bridge scene was very cool with the Whispers and Michonne and uh, Daryl. And how Daryl shot the one in the leg. Spoilers too, by the way, for all this. Uh, Daryl shot the one in the leg. And found out that it was, in fact, a human. And then all the other walkers with the sun on it. And then, you know, Michelle did her thing with her sword. And then they uh, took the uh, girl captive. Uh, so, that, you know, it was pretty pretty cool scene. Uh, another scene that stuck out was all the stuff with uh, Negan and Judith I thought was just uh, awesomely done. I felt sorry for Negan in the episode uh, going back and basically seeing that all his castles was crumbled and uh, dealing with the reality of uh, that and with him being the type of person that has to be around people and all that. Uh, his decision to actually go back uh, and uh, he was already being jailed and you know be alone. And it was really sad, but it was cool in the same token. It was neat to see uh, all the interaction with him and Judith and how she said, uh, you know, she she didn't her to come back, and then he came back and she shot Amy off the motorcycle and all that. But that was uh, that was really a uh, really neat uh, exchange, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see where to go. I'm, I'm hoping somehow he'll be able to redeem himself and be part of things even after the horrible things he's done. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. Uh, another bombshell was uh, while uh, Eugene was, you know, telling Rosita what was going on with, uh, you know, their excursion with the Whispers, uh, him saying that, you know, he was going to, he was getting ready to profess his love for her and she could take it and walks outside and throws up. But then it came light that she's uh, Having a uh, had was had a had a fling before she got with old Father Gabriel with the doctor, and she's pregos. So, yet another interesting way uh, all that's going. Uh, interesting to see what happens when uh, Father Gabriel finds out. <laughs> she's uh, gotten around. Let's just say, uh, I thought the uh, Jesus's uh, funeral was a very touching. Uh, it was. Uh, you know, like I said, sad to see him go, but, you know, it's just one of the things with the show, you know, that's how the story goes, and they keep the things uh, moving forward, you know, they gotta lose main characters, and it's it's just strange now that, to see that, like, Tara's in charge of the hilltop now, it's just kind of, you know, when you think where she's come from, from, you know, being an outsider and being part of the governor's clan and, and all that back in the prison time and all that, but, uh, yeah, it was uh, crazy, and, uh, you know, just uh, interesting to see, you know, where it all goes from here, as we all are. Uh, I thought all the interrogation stuff of Alpha's daughter, uh, of the Whisperers, was really cool, and you definitely know she's not telling the truth, and I think they all know that anyway, but, uh, you know, Daryl was going to take her out and get her, get her on, <laughs> but... Old Henry, he was, you know, whining for her. I don't know about that kid. I just like to smack him. <laughs> uh, 
And then, of course, I'm sure you've all heard the big news uh, that, uh, you know, Michonne's going to be leaving uh, the series when you know, all her success with uh, in Black Panther and the Avengers and all that, you know, I understood her contract was up. And she, you know, wants to move on to, uh, you know, hopefully bigger and better things for her. And, you know, she's an awesome actress and, uh, you know, we certainly wish her well. And um, definitely will be missed on the show, though. I, I think she's going to be in part of next year. So, you know, still got a little ways to go yet with that. So, that's good anyway. But, you know, it's always good to see somebody better themselves anyhow. Uh, so, that's that was the big news this past week uh, as far as The Walking Dead goes. And then, uh, finally got to that scene where uh, Luke and Alden were out. Uh, you know, trying to find uh, the missing members of the group and all that, and and they ended up getting caught by the whispers, and uh, you know they were had put arrows along the trail, looking to make it look like that you know they were having this trail for them to follow, and uh, of course then they all surround them, and they were they hadn't seen them before, they were like, what's going on, and and she pulled out the you know don't barrel shotgun and told them that the trail ends here. Uh, Really cool, really, really neat to see where all this is going to go. We're really liking this season, has been incredible. I think, I mean, you know, we all miss Rick, but I just think it's just been an awesome, awesome season uh, so far with The Walking Dead. Uh, looking forward to the whole uh carnival thing they'll have coming up. Uh, from what I understand from the comic, which I have the read, uh, it's brutal so. We'll see who all to kill off. Uh, hopefully not too many, because so many people are leaving and been killed off already. So hopefully it's a bunch of no names, a bunch of red shirts, as you know, the uh, old Trekkie fans would say. Uh, but definitely looking forward to seeing that on screen and seeing exactly what they do with that. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry a little bit late getting this up. We've had some bad uh, weather past uh, couple days here around, and uh, it's been kind of crazy. So. But thank God, uh, had some sun out today, so hopefully we get thawed out. But I got uh, several different reviews because I've had time to get caught up on some uh, TV that I'll be doing. So if you see the same shirt and a bunch of videos, that's why I didn't like wear it for like three weeks or something like that. So, <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'll uh, hit you guys back up after next week's episode, and we see where things uh, get going. Uh, really looking forward. The only thing I wish with this Whisperer thing is they did. He would have let the mystery go out a little more and let everybody be creeped out a little bit more. Uh, you know, and not knowing that they were people in masks. But since that's been revealed, drink much they can do with it, but go with it. But it's going to be interesting to see where it all goes. So, anyway, uh, please leave your thoughts and comments below. Uh, what do you think is going to happen for the remainder of the season? And your thoughts on... Uh, you know, anything that's uh, all while walking the dead related or, or anything related because that's what this channel is all about, all about uh, pop culture. So, uh, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, uh, do one act of kindness this week to somebody and help make a difference in someone's life. The smallest thing can make a big difference. Uh, for more Ring Orders and Tanks, two cents, Brett Tank Downey saying peace out. <laughs>